But the Taliban have already stripped women and girls in Afghanistan of many of their human rights. And big question marks still hang over their future, as the militants have so far failed to elaborate on what they have in store for women. DW's Terry Schultz met one Afghan journalist in Brussels who is trying to help the women still in Afghanistan determined to fight for their rights. The Taliban tried to brutally crush dissent in Afghanistan. Women pushed to go back into burqas, beaten for daring to demand their rights. Warned to stay home, activists are mobilizing in private. Like those who join Lailuma Sadid virtually at her dinner table thousands of miles away in Belgium. Sadid, the only Afghan journalist in Brussels and herself once a political refugee, has become the voice of her endangered friends. The day after Kabul fell, Sadid made international headlines with a heart-wrenching appeal to NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. There are thousands of women who really don't know for the future what is going on and what should happen for them. And they are always asking, what does it mean 20 years? And I would like to ask as a woman, please, Please don't recognize the Taliban and don't put us again the same situation. Sadid makes no apologies for the fact her long career in journalism, which brought death threats from the Taliban decades ago, has now become activism. If not her, she says, then who? Here I have access with the European Union, with the NATO, and also maybe with a lot of international community. If I stay quiet, then the girls in Afghanistan will not forgive me. They said that we doesn't have the choice like, like you. The choices women activists face are stark. We're disguising their identities for their safety as they plan out a nationwide demonstration for later this month. They know the consequences could be deadly. I'm ready to, <laughs> to be killed by them, but uh, I want to... Yeah, yeah, fight, yes. Okay, great. Yes, I can fight. And that's my right. If I kill by this, that way, uh, I don't think that uh, it will be bad for me. Even being so far away, though, Sadid can't completely escape the risks. Your own mother has said, please stop. You're putting us in danger. This is a terrible choice for you to have to make. I know it's not easy to accept, but there is no choice. What should we do? If we stay quiet, then we stay quiet and silent forever. And she says then she would not be able to forgive herself.